Okay, this is Araj from Android Cowboy, and today we're going to uh, talk about how to install a third-party launcher on the Kindle Fire HD. Now, the first thing is that you do need to be rooted. Uh, this cannot be done without root access. Uh, we have a link in the description for both the Kindle Fire 7 and 8.9. It's a, it's a pretty easy process. I was able to root uh, my Kindle Fire within, within a couple of minutes. Um, and so once you root it, definitely recommend installing the Google Play Store. It just makes it easier to install um, apps. And again, we have a link in the description for that as well. So once you're rooted and you have the Play Store installed, go into the Google Play Store. And you're going to need two apps. Your first app is going to be, uh, you definitely need Titanium Backup. And if you just start uh, typing Titanium, it should come up in the list. So go ahead and install uh, titanium backup root that's the app you're going to need after you install that go ahead and uh, find the launcher that you want for for uh, for here the test case I've installed apex launcher it's kind of one of my favorite launchers but there are many Nova holo launcher and we also have a link there for you can look at some of the alternative launchers as well if you have a nice list uh, compiled together so go ahead and install titanium backup root install your desired launcher and then go home when you go home you can see you'll go back to the regular uh, Amazon launcher installing the third party launcher doesn't really do anything so now what you're going to need to do is go into titanium backup um, and what you need to do is in the under the backup and restore here you're going to need to find uh, the launcher that you installed and so here we have Apex and once you find that you want to long press on it and then go down to here and here what uh, under system ROM at the bottom here what you want to do is, uh, for right now, mine says convert to user app because I've already converted to a system app. But for you, what you will see says convert to system app. And you're going to want to click click that to so convert it to a system app, and it'll take a few seconds to do that. Once it does that, I would recommend rebooting. It's always good once you install system apps to reboot it. And once you reboot, you can, you'll can you notice that when if you go back in here, the Apex or the launcher that you have it will be in red, and that means the system app. So once you've done that, uh, the app will actually now appear in your in your uh, app list before before converting it to a system app. It wouldn't it it would it was not going to be there. But now that you've converted it, it will show up there. But it still doesn't do anything. If you press home again, you're still in the Amazon launcher, and that's because we need to change the default settings. So then, pull down the the settings menu, go into more, go into applications, and go into install the applications. And what you need to do is go down till you find. Um, launcher here uh, so you can see this is launcher and this is the the default Amazon launcher here um, and it's called it's just called launcher so go into that and and what you need to do is hit go down to the bottom and hit this uh, clear defaults here uh, this will say clear defaults um, and so hit that and once you clear defaults now when you press home you'll get this pop-up uh, which will ask if you want to use Apex or the home. So if you want it to be default, which is you're going to want to do that because it's going to be annoying. Otherwise, it will pop up every time. Check the use by default and then hit the Apex launcher. And now, as you can see, we're in we're in the alternative launcher now, which is Apex. So you have here. What's nice is with the alternative launcher, you have the multiple screens. Uh, you have widgets here. For example, you have the Google Plus widget installed, and that's really nice. So you get you get all the nice benefits of the standard Google uh, launcher where you can you can have apps here, and you can have and you can have uh, widgets and all that. So it's really nice. But what's nice is that you haven't lost that Amazon uh, launcher either. So if you want to go back and check out your books or videos, it's very easy. You just go into the apps, and your launcher will be right here. It's called Home. So if you hit that, it'll just take you back to the Amazon launcher, which is really nice. So if you want to go there and check out your books and, and use that, or you want to check out the videos, you can do that. Now the thing is. Since you've set the other launcher as default, whenever you press home, it will take you back into the alternative launcher. Now, if you want to change it back, if you want to go back to your old settings, again, if you pull down the menu, go into applications, install the applications, and then find your launcher here. For example, we have Apex. If you just clear the default, now when you press home, you'll get that list again. If you want to go back to the Amazon one as your default one, you can easily choose that. So it's really nice. You can switch back and forth. So for example, maybe uh, if you like to use the, uh, the alternative launcher, you use that as a default, but maybe if you want to give it to your kids or, or someone in the household, but they like this interface better, you can reset it and have the default. So it's really nice. You have, you have both of them, and it's a, it's a nice way to get a little bit more out of your Kindle Fire. So 
Hope you guys liked the video and enjoyed this. If you do, please hit the thumbs up and, and be sure to share this with all your other Kindle Fire friends. Um, thank you. And be sure to visit Android Catboy. Uh, where we have lots of stuff about uh, Kindle Fire.